So validation is finished and now we can move on to actually creating our task, which is very straightforward. And I'm going to show you two different ways that we can create a task from here. Now we'll cover this more in the more intermediate version of this to-do list or task list. Uh, but for now, we'll just get this done. So we're actually storing something uh, over in our database. So to start things out then, we want to, at this point, just create a new task. So we're gonna do this the traditional kind of way and then we'll look at a, a slightly easier way. So we're gonna create a new task instance. Remember, this is our task model that we created just over here. And of course, what we want to do is import this namespace at the top because uh, this file wouldn't have no idea where this model is. So we just say use app task because obviously over here we have a namespace of app. So now that we've done that, let's just kill the page on task and we'll see what this looks like. So let's just refresh, hit uh, add task after we've typed a valid task in and we now see a task model. So now the next step is to set the properties that we want on this model which correspond with the data in our database or the columns in our database. So we know that the column for the name is just called name. So we just set this as a property. We say task name and then we say request, which remember is the request that we have up here that we passed into our validator and we just say name like that. So let's take a look at our task model again. Let's kill the page here and you can see here that this is added onto the attributes uh, property just here. And the name is now learn Laravel. Now, when we call the save method on this task, this will be inserted into our database. Now, before I do that, I just want to talk a little bit about how does this know that our database is called tasks? How does this model know where to insert? Well, Laravel is clever enough to take the singular version of whatever model name you have and map it to the plural version of a database table. So if for example, this class was called my task, not that you would do that, but if it was called my task, this wouldn't work. It wouldn't be able to find the table. Now, in the case that you have models that have different names, what you would have to do is create in here a protected table property and you just give the name of the table. So in this case, I would create tasks if my model was called my task. Now in our case, we don't need to do that because task is pretty simple. It's just a plural version of tasks. So we can leave it as it is, but it's important to realize that that is how all of this is working. So to actually save this, then we just say task save, and that is it. Now, after we've done with this, we want to redirect. So we just return, redirect, and we go back to the home page. So let's go over to the home page so we can add a task. And let's create Learn Laravel. Make sure our database is definitely empty before we get started, and it is. Hit Add Task, and there we go. So we've been redirected back. Obviously, we're not outputting any tasks just yet, but over in the database, we now have that task created. How simple was that? Well, we're gonna look at another method as well, and uh, you'll see this uh, quite often. Uh, it's probably the most preferred way of creating things, and that is to do something like task, create and then pass an array of the data you want to add. So in this case, we would say name is request name. So you may see this around. You might prefer this way of doing things. It really depends on how you're building up the data that you want to insert. If you want to use the traditional way of creating a new task model and then going ahead and assigning properties, this makes sense if you have uh, maybe if statements that you want to change things around. But either way, I'll leave it up to you to decide what you want to do. Now, if you do want to do it this way, you're gonna come across a problem. So let's just try this again. So let's say learn PHP, hit add task, and we see a mass assignment exception. Now, this is because this is a slightly different way of creating a record. To get around this, we just need to set some fillable property or fillable columns. So let's go and create a fillable protected property. And in here, we're going to give the name and that's it. So any other columns you have that you want to be fillable, you just add them in here. And now when we refresh and send this request through again, we're redirected back and we have a new record created. So we're going to stick then for the rest of the series just with the following example, like so. 
But of course you can feel free to use this as well. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. So we've now created a task, but obviously what we want to do is display them on this page once they've been created. So we're going to go over to the next part and do that now.